Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a summer DIY wreath. I got everything from Hobby Lobby for less than $20 and also doing a clean with me showing you guys what my daily cleanup routine is in the summertime with both of the kids home. So before we hop into today's video, I just wanted to share with you guys that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend, Kaylin Cash. She has the cutest channel and the most amazing decor in her house. It's so cozy. I just want to cuddle up in a blanket on her couch and like sip some drinks and have some cookies. Kaylin has everything from cooking to cleaning to decorating and some really cute DIYs. She has the cutest little boy and you guys, I love her house. Be sure that you go and subscribe to our channel, link down below. Tell her I sent you and say hello. And let's hop on into all of the goods for today. So, Kaylin and I are sharing our summer cleaning routine, a little bit of a tidy up, and also sharing with you a summer DIY. As you guys saw in the intro, I'm so excited to share with you how I make my wreaths. So I actually do these every season. They're so cheap and easy and you can really customize them to your own look and your own decor in your home. So if you're interested to see how I make my wreaths every single season, just keep on watching. I also wanted to mention to you guys that all of the cleaning products I'm using in today's video are from Grove Collaborative. They have all natural cleaning products and supplies and they actually have beauty products now as well. Um, I just subscribe to my favorite products and I get them every month or every other month. You just have to reach the I believe it's like a $25 or $30 threshold and then you get free shipping as well. Um, I've always gotten the Method cleaning products and Mrs. Myers cleaning products. Right now Mrs. Myers has their spring cleaning products out and I have the rose scent in my spray and also in my hand wash and then my dishwashing soap that I got this month was fresh cut grass. It is surprisingly fresh. Anyways, that is linked down below for you guys if you want to go ahead and check them out. I've been using them for about a year now and I absolutely love it. I got my mom hooked on them. My most favorite things from Grove Collaborative are their European dishcloths and their walnut scrubbers. Um, make sure that you guys go and check out the link I have below because you can get a free three-piece Mrs. Meyers uh, cleaning set in their springtime sense. And if you're already a member of Grove, if you use my link, you can still get some free walnut scrubbers so go ahead and make sure you check out that link down below again one of my staples in the summertime one less thing to worry about as you guys can hear right here in the background yep always running around so bro absolutely love them it's just one less thing for me to worry about So as you guys know, our dishwasher has been broken for a really long time. We finally got the replacement part back in, or we got that in. Uh, wasn't even the right part we were needing. So here I am still hand washing the dishes. This is one of the things that I do on a daily basis. The dishes rack up so fast. This week I have my family staying with us. So the dishes are racking up a little bit quicker than usual. This is about a day's worth of dishes. My poor mom has done the dishes twice for me. Thanks mom. But this is what the, um, the daily routine looks like as far as dishes. I like to empty out the sink first and I organize everything out into piles so that it's easier to clean as I go. I like to start with the cups, the bowls, and the silverware, and then I move on to the bigger items. And then last but not least, I'll do the bottles.
That you're going to need is a grapevine wreath which you can get these for about five dollars from Hobby Lobby I know that Michaels also has them I'm sure Amazon does too and I went through and took advantage of the Hobby Lobby 50% off sale um, for their floral and all of their like picks and things like that. I do make a new wreath for every single season. I have a wreath for every season in my home for Christmas, for winter, for spring, um, and then this is a new one for summer. I usually just carry out my spring wreath into the summer because it's pretty versatile. Um, and then I'll do a fall wreath and then I do a Halloween wreath. I love it. So very simple to do. And I think that wreaths are such a good statement piece in your house. Um, especially when you can like switch them out for each season just makes the outside of your house look so cute and cozy um, so the first thing that I always get when I do my wreaths is I will pick out a couple of floral stems um, I usually go for the hydrangeas so these were $6.99 and 50% off so they were right around $3.50 such a good deal um, and like I said I went for this is like a yellowy goldish like um like muted like it's like a muted yellowy off white i guess i would say with like some gold in there um i like i like to do more muted tones uh just because then it's not as like bright um and in your face and like i said my style in the house is very muted and neutral so um i like to kind of carry that theme throughout my house um and then i also picked up this like fern pick this fern stem i thought this was so cute so this was a dollar 99 and half off a dollar 99 you can't go wrong with that um i love like the detail and it's just it doesn't look cheapy that's why i always go for hobby lobby stems is just because they look so real and um they're really good quality the next thing that i got was um like eucalyptus 
And I got that for $6.99 and 50% off. And then I also got an artichoke and this was $5.99 and 50% off. Um, the colors, so not only do we love to eat artichokes, so I found this kind of funny that they had these, but um, the colors went so well with the other items that I picked. Um, and then I also found a little um, galvanized milk jug I thought was so cute. And this was $2.99 and 50% off. And then last but not least, I always do um, a B, like for our last name. I'll put that on like the center of my wreath on top. And these are $2.99 and 50% off. So like I said, all in all was less than $20. For less than $20, you're able to do your own wreath and you don't need to spend $50, $60, $70 on your front door wreath. I've seen, I love the Target wreaths, but I just feel like they're so overpriced when I can make my own and have it be half the price. And then you can kind of customize it to your liking as well. Um, these are super easy. So let's hop on in to how I make my wreaths. All right, so I typically have, there's like these bigger vines on here and I will have, there's like, they're in three sections. So I will have this top vine or this one vine. I'll have one of them on top because that is what I'm going to connect my letter to. Um, but I like to kind of do like an offset. So I will do my um, floral more so in like, like I'd say in like two thirds of the wreath to like half of the wreath. Um, I will do it more so like on this side. And then I'll start with my bigger pieces, my my um, hydrangeas, my, fl my flowers. And then I'll kind of build up from there. So I do not have a wire cutter on me, but what I will typically do is I will cut, actually I wanna cut right beneath this stem down here. So I get it started with just a regular kitchen scissors. Um, but what I always do is I'll just bend them back and forth because that wire will eventually break if you just keep bending it back and forth. But I do suggest you use a wire cutter. Um, I just have no idea where ours is. So this is the method that I typically use. I call this the Morgan method. And my husband would tell you the same thing. And then I just stick the flowers into the vines. I think you should do I will poke this flower all the way through to the back and then I will bend the back of the wire onto the back of the wreath. like this and then I will bend it and tuck it in and it should stay just fine. So then it looks like this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other hydrangea. This time I'm actually just gonna pull the leaves off. If I wanna add those leaves later on, you can still add them in, there's still enough of a pick at the end where you could tuck these in. Um, it's just easier to get these hydrangeas into the wreath if you take those off first. Then I just kind of puff them out a little bit. And then based off of like where they're at, and then I'll kind of fill in. I typically have everything moving in one direction, so meaning I won't have like my florals all facing different ways. I tend to go the same direction. So I'm actually, I'm gonna kind of play with this and go back and forth between the two greens I have, um, and I'll probably split this eucalyptus apart as well. And then I'm just going to tuck this underneath those hydrangeas so that it's kind of coming out like so. Okay, so I cut off that excess on the end of the eucalyptus. And now, like I said, I am going to split this apart like this because it's, there we go. 
kind of like wide out here. So I'm just going to pull it apart and then give it a snip and then I'll have two separate stems to use. So I kind of want the eucalyptus coming out a little bit closer to the flowers, kind of like this, so it's surrounding the flowers and let that fern just kind of be by itself. So I might break these apart even more so that, so that they're a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna kind of gently lift up on this and tuck that in. And just so you guys know, I've had this literally withstand like hurricane force winds. Like the wreath might not stay on the door, but all of the picks will stay in the wreath um, because those wires are so strong, especially when you tuck them in the back and you like tuck them back in. Um, it's a nice strong hold. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so for this one I ended up tucking in a little bit more um, into like I kind of weaved it into the vines if you feel like you need a little bit more security like this is a um, like a thinner vine or this is a thinner stem and I just didn't want the wind to take it so I just kind of tucked it into one of these um, great vines okay so this is perfect as you guys so this is like upside down for you but it's a little bit more plain over here and that's okay because I'm going to stick something right here um, but so this is like my base that I have um, and I do have these flower or these leaves that I can add in here too um, to give it a little bit more of a green look or you can take them out and have more of those muted greens it's definitely it's up to you whether you use those leaves or not, and I will likely play with it a little bit, but now I'm going to grab my, um, like, I would say these are like my accent picks, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and place those now. Okay, so what I'm doing with this one, this isn't exactly a pick, it was just like one of those throw-in, um, like, like fillers for a base. So I'm making it a pick by, so the bottom of this is styrofoam and I just took off one of those stems that we used um, or that we cut off of from the fern and I'm just gonna stick that artichoke right onto that pick and boom, you have your own custom pick. So this is what I have so far, and then I, like I said, I'm gonna kind of play around now with where I'm gonna place this little milk jug. I'll probably do it on this side just because I kind of like my accents to be apart instead of oh, um, right next to each other because you see that it just kind of gets bulky if it's right next to each other. So I'll likely stick this somewhere up in here, and then I might play around with these little green stems a little bit and see if I wanna add more greens in there or I might just leave it as is. And then I'm going to do um, similar to what we did with, with the artichoke. I'm taking an extra stem. So I'm taking an extra stem like we did with the artichoke down here. I'm going to take this extra stem and then I'm going to loop it through here and then attach my letter to the top.
how that wire is completely tucked in and like bent around the top here so it should stay nice. Um, and then you know which way to orientate your wreath. Alrighty, in less than 15 minutes, you got yourself a cute little wreath for the door and it is customized completely to your own look. Um, you can definitely add in more like color and pinks and, oh, I just burped, gross. You can definitely add in some more color and do like pinks or like a muted blue um, or like a bright yellow. I, this is just like more so like my um, style with a mo modern farmhouse like muted tones look with lots of greens. I love greens in the summertime. So I will typically decorate my house in the summertime with lots of greens, um, like muted greens. Um, I will do more like fresh plants in my house. Um, I've got, got lots of house plants um, and I've got like some cacti in the background things like that and that's how I like to do my summer decor it's very minimal very simple um, but lots of greens another cute version of this wreath would be to put like some boxwood sprigs or twigs or whatever you want to call them with like lemons that was kind of originally what I was going to do but as I got to Hobby Lobby um, I just went a little wild with some of their muted greens but definitely like lemons would be super summery or you could find like a cute little wood sign to go in the middle that says like like summertime, something of the sort. Anywho, super quick, cheap, and easy. <laughs> and you can do this for every single season. you guys that is going to wrap it up for today's video i hope you enjoyed this little diy and this tidy up and clean with me this is typically like my daily summer cleaning routine with the kids in and out and the pizza sauce and all of the things happening all at the same time little handprints everywhere this is like what I have to do on a daily basis. So again, make sure that you go check out Kaylin's channel in the description box down below. Tell her that I sent you and say hello. And thank you again to Kaylin for collaborating with me on this video. And I'll see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.